As I said, a little earlier in the show, we'll touch on the Ezra Mam situation, just from my point of view. Uh, and there's been plenty of opinions, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. 13, 13, 55, you want to come direct straight into the studio. Uh, everyone's had an opinion. Everyone's got a thought. Everyone's got some sort of idea of what they should think Ezra Mam, uh, the ramifications and the like. And, and heels, I'd, I'd love to hear yours. I know we, you've you know, spoken briefly but the, this is mine. First and foremost, Ezra Mam's a young man, 21 years of age, has made a terrible mistake. Uh, he needs to acknowledge that, and that'll be that'll come through the form of the law. They'll, they'll acknowledge and hand down their, their penalty, their punishment towards Ezra. Uh, he needs to take responsibility for what has unfolded and be a better person coming off the back of it. Now, for me, you know, some of the opinions have been the fact that the Broncos should sack Ezra Mam. It's a privilege to play for the Broncos, et cetera, et cetera. I 100% agree with the fact that it's a privilege to be part of the Broncos. It's a privilege to pull on the jersey, uh, and it's something you don't take lightly. From my point of view, th- this is my point of view, the Broncos, I feel, need to support Ezra, and they need to put their arm around him in support. Now, I understand it's a terrible mistake. And he will pay the price. He needs to take accountability for what he has done. But when you come to the Brisbane Broncos, my first and if you're a young kid and you come into the into the club, first and foremost, you need to be and become a better person. When you leave the club, you need to be a better person than what you started. Secondly, you want to be a better player. Uh, now, for me, if Ezra Man was to be sacked and pushed out. What does Ezra Mam actually learn from that? Is there a learning curve from him to go, well, all that happens is he made the wrong mistake, he's paid for it by just getting sacked and he moves on. From the club's point of view, I feel as though also they need to take some sort of accountability and responsibility for their players and what's unfolded. Uh, are they fulfilling their role as a club if they did just to throw Ezra Mam out because he's made a mistake? He needs to acknowledge that he's made a mistake. He needs to be better and work on that. But also the club need to instill and acknowledge that also. I, may, I said again, when a player comes into your organisation, they need to be better people when they leave. And in turn, they will be better better players. Everyone's got their, their viewpoint and it's been obviously very top. And, and I'm not dismissing the fact that he's done the wrong thing. He's absolutely done the wrong thing and it's not acceptable. He needs to accept whatever punishment is coming his way. He needs to accept whatever ramifications come f- throughout the law and also the game. But he also needs to learn from his mistake. He needs to be a better person. He needs to work on himself. He needs to uh, understand that it's not um, and, and will not be tolerated. The Broncos, as I just touched on, there's been this talk around the Broncos' culture uh, and, and that it has been uh, not where it needs to be. And this is not... So if the players within the organisation have been allowed to get away with X, Y, Z, um, little things throughout different parts, you know, uh, that is on the club. Now, I'm not saying it's the club's fault. It's 100% Ezra Mam's fault what's unfolded. It's a terrible incident, and, and I'm so glad everyone is okay. But sacking Ezra Mam, in my opinion, is not, is not the, the answer. Because if I sent my child to the Brisbane Broncos, I'm sending them there first and foremost because I think they are going to be better people when they, t- when they leave the place. Secondly to that, they'll be obviously a better footballer. Ezra Mam, and I know Ezra not extremely well, but I know him well enough. He is extremely remorseful what's what's unfolded. He hasn't spoken because legally he's not able to 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 make comment and, and talk about that. But I just think, I just think, if the club were just to wash their hands of Ezra Mam and move him on as an individual, as a person, I understand he's a twenty-one-year-old man. I understand that. But what does he actually learn? What does Ezra Mam learn? That's like, in my opinion, if your child does something wrong and it's terrible, pushing them onto another family because you don't want them to be a part of your, your family anymore. That's how I see it. 
So if the culture of the Brisbane Broncos was Mickey Mouse and Hunky Dory and then this unfolded, slightly different story in my opinion because the culture and everything involved in the four walls of the Broncos is squeaky clean and very, very good. And then a player who well and truly knows, and I'm not saying he didn't know what he was doing, but well and truly knows what the, what is required. Now, Madge Maguire turns up officially today. Today he lands in Brisbane to, to obviously start his tenure at the Brisbane Broncos as a head coach. It's going to be fascinating to see what unfolds uh, over the next 24, 48 hours from Madge's point of view. I don't know what the Broncos are going to do. I don't know what the, the league and the NRL is going to do. I think a lot of it will be off the, fa- off the back of what the actual law is going to do mm-hmm. because they still haven't pressed any charges. They still haven't handed down any penalty. But I just go back to this. I feel as, as though the Brisbane Broncos have a responsibility to support Ezra Mann, make him a better person first and foremost, and then off the back of that, make him a better athlete. He un- he has to put his hand up and accept any punishment. He has to put his hand up and have any responsibility and, and, and learn from this as a learning lesson, as you would do in a 21-year-old, and then move forward. And then in such time and, – and rugby league is a great game for redemption. It's a great game for learning. And we've seen some of our stars of the modern game – be able to do this. Cameron Munster springs to mind. Only a number of years ago was in a very, very similar situation, different in the terms of an accident side of things, but had stepped outside the lines of what was required under the Melbourne Storm, under what it is to be a professional rugby league player. Now look where Cameron Munster is at. I just think and I'd love to hear your thoughts. 13, 13, 55, if you'd love to come direct into the show, or 0467 736 736, by getting rid of Ezra Mam, what does the individual actually learn? He needs to take accountability. I understand that. He's very remorseful. I can say that. He needs to take responsibility. But by getting rid of him, I don't think that has the same effect. That's no. just my thoughts. No, well said. Good thoughts. Um, my uh, opinion on Monday was he's a young man. Who got lucky? Yes, uh, and he's got time to pay that price, and uh, then he can become that better player you talk about with a lot of club support slash respect. Yes, even in the backlash of fans, yes. in the face of that backlash, the club's got to be right in with him if they decide to keep him, and then maybe they could use him in grassroots grassroots pathways to yeah. to get amongst the kids and. Sort of say sorry in that those yeah. ways. Yeah, no, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thirteen, thirteen, fifty-five is the open line. Anthony from Chermside is uh, has has weighed in on it. Love to hear your thoughts, mate. Welcome to the show. Yeah, good morning. Um, I have commented a couple of times on this. I think yesterday or, or day before. Um, I believe the whole problem is that it's the culture at the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Ezra has done a very bad thing, which I've said before on radio, and I personally believe once he gets charged, he needs to be stood down until his court case is concluded just like the Bellin had to. But my concern is everyone was under the impression the Broncos had been in touch with the victims of Ezra Mann, which we, we really do not need to forget. And I heard yesterday that Broncos had not been in contact with the Uber driver. So Broncos well, either the Uber driver's lying or the Broncos CEO's lying. Mm. So I really worry that if the CEO can't be honest about something so simple as that, and now he, he, when they ask him a question about it, he says no comment, that shows you what's going on at the Broncos. It starts from the top. And if the top can't be honest, how can the players below be honest? Yeah. You know, my number one concern was that guy, the, the person that got hit come on, lost his um, able, you know, be able to earn an income, I was under the impression it was all over. You know, Peter Fasolis made a whole hoo-ha, hoo-ha that Goldie had been in contact with him and steps have been made, but then they've interviewed the Uber driver and he goes, Broncos have not contacted me. Okay. So I think Goldie needs to show some leadership and say, I apologise. I've 
you know, I was wrong. Like, he lied, basically. I'm not trying to be rude, but, you know, he said he contacted him and steps have been made to look after the, the people that were involved. We have a small child that could be, have mental issues from a head-on collision. And I just don't want it all to be about Ezra. Ezra is an adult. I know he's 21, but he's yeah. an adult. Yeah. He's no. not his first offence. He's done stupid things before. And sooner or later, I agree with you um, that you need people chances and all this. And we all make mistakes. I've made plenty in my lifetime. Mm. Mm. But sooner or later, he needs to understand that there has to be a line drawn in the sand. But unfortunately, I feel the problem is the Broncos hierarchy don't give a very good, you know, I don't know, like a good father figure for the players yeah. if they're willing to lie about something so serious. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, that's well said. Thanks, Anthony. I appreciate uh, your call, mate. And uh, we're just going to get to a quick break. Well, he'll feel the line. Don't worry, Anthony. He, he will feel the line. Mm. And I have heard that the Bronco, from the mother, mm. that the Broncos had had contacted them. So maybe not the driver, eh? Yeah, there you go. Well, had a quick break and love to hear your thoughts anytime. 0467 736 736.